Hey family, thank you all so much for tuning in. I just wanted to come on and share a quick word. This is something that's actually on my heart for you, my brothers and sisters, especially my sisters, those of you, really all of you that are moving from darkness to light, okay? This is everybody who has answered their call, meaning God is calling you out of the world and into his kingdom, out of darkness, which is the world, blindness, operating outside of yourself, not knowing who you are, uh, morphing into who the world says you're supposed to be or who people told you you're supposed to be. And now you're awakened and you're moving into who God has called you to be, who he says you are, how you're supposed to look, how you're supposed to talk, how you're supposed to walk, how you're supposed to dress, like all of that, right? And yes, we can look good in the kingdom because we are a royal priesthood. I just made a post on the uh, community tab and then also on my Instagram about this very thing, how some of you are still struggling because you're making this transition, this shift. God is shifting you as you are obedient and willing and setting yourself apart as an instrument to be used for the father to use in his kingdom. And so a lot of you are still struggling with your image and this is an outer image. And so God is saying in this hour that he wants you to know that you are royalty. You are royalty and the things that you're giving up or you think you're giving up or you're leaving behind, God is going to restore you. He's going to bring you out like gold. This is, um, a spiritual thing as well. Women of God, this is an essence. This is an aura. This is, um, my God, a fragrance that the Lord wants to smell from you, a, a sweet incense that he's calling his daughters to, to offer up to him just by the way that you're living your life because it's going to set the stage, okay, for your family to be in alignment. My God, for your life to be in alignment. And so I want to read this really quickly, just a couple of scriptures, you guys. In 1 Peter 2, uh, verse 9, it says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. So you have to understand that you are special, that you are not called to be like everybody else. You're not called to look like everybody else. And this is not just physically, but spiritually. Come on, somebody. That you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. So you are a peculiar people, as the Bible says. We are a peculiar people, a strange people, so to speak, because we don't follow the trends of the world and what the world says to do or how the world says to do it because we have a father who owns everything, who's in control of everything, who will subtract to multiply, who will add to divide. Come on, somebody. It don't make sense, but he will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. That makes him God. And so what he's telling you right now is that he has set you apart for special use. And I want to read that in uh, 2 Timothy verses, um, or chapter 2, verse 20 through 21. It says, in a large house, there are articles not only for of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some are for special purposes and some for common use. Those who cleanse themselves from the latter will be instruments for special purposes made holy, useful to the master, and prepared to do any good work. So you can't be operating as a utensil uh, made of wood and clay. God is saying, I need to refine you like silver and gold to be a utensil, a willing vessel for my use, okay? That royalty, this is a correlation to the royal priesthood that you are, that he's telling you that you, he has made you to be. There it is. And so a lot of you, again, are still struggling. And I even just feel to say this right now. Some of you need to pull yourselves off of social media and the scrolling, like stop scrolling every five minutes. You're just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling when you got work to do for the kingdom. Some of you have to stop scrolling just to get in the presence of the Lord so he can start showing you who you are. Okay. My God. So this internet is like a distraction for many of you. 
I, I went through that years ago, you know, just distracted, not knowing what to do, right? And then some of you just taking on these false images, okay? Because you're seeing things that look attractive or you're, you're, you don't know who you are. So you're seeing somebody you want to be like, nobody can convince you of who you are. You got to know who you are. And this is why a lot of you are looking to other people and their identities and who they are portraying themselves to be when they're not even that person because you don't know who you are. So you're trying to find an image and God is saying, look to me, look to Jesus. I am the image that you're supposed to be following. My God and women of God, that means yes, you can be pretty. Yes, you can be cute. Yes, you can wear nice clothes. Okay, come on royal priesthood in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So God is very serious about cleaning us up because we are his bride, okay? Men of God, so are you. And don't, don't think of this from a female perspective. The bride, in the sense that the Lord is using it, is not male or female, okay? This is spiritual. He's coming back for a spotless bride without blemish, okay? So that means he's cleaning us all up if we are willing, if we are willing. I want to read this a little further down in 2 Timothy 2. And this is um, Paul just talking about us as believers not being quarrelsome with those who don't believe, right? And so as God is cleaning us up, cleaning you up, and you got people around you. See, thank you, Holy Spirit. This is another thing. Why The reason why God has pulled so many people away from you is so that he can clean you up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But a lot of you, since the people are gone, now you're latching on to social media to try to feel the part because you don't want to be isolated. So you feel like going to social media. I wasn't going to go here. Come on, Holy Spirit. You feel like going to social media um, is going to satisfy you. And for some, it it is a temporary satisfier, if I could say that. But at the end of the day, you're still empty here, okay? And so God is saying, this is why I pulled these people away from you so that you can learn of me, so I can teach you, so I can clean you up, show you who you are, and then show you purpose, my God. But for those of you that, all of us really, that he's pulled away from people, and, and those of you really, there it is, that are in that place where he's pulling you away from people, and you're getting the backlash for people thinking that you're, who do you think you are? You think you better than us now because you don't want to go out with us and you don't want to drink no more. You don't want to smoke no more. You don't want to do none of the things you used to do no more. Come on, somebody. This is what the scripture says, okay? It says, opponents must be gently instructed. This is 2 Timothy 2.25. In the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth and that they will come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil who has taken them captive to do his will. So this is the pull. This is why it's the opposition and the tug of war. And, and the enemy is so crafty that he's working through people, those instruments that are set apart for, for his use, those wood and clay instruments. And this is not to talk about the people because some of them are your family members. Come on, somebody. This is not to, to make you feel like you're better than them, but God has set you apart. And so they're still playing the devil's game, right? And so this is why you have this opposition and this tug of war and this fight with letting go of the world. And God is saying, stop striving with them. Don't argue with them, okay? Just continue to move forward and tell them the truth as the scripture says, gently and hope that God will grant them the same repentance that he's granting to you, the same mercy, the same grace, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. My God, I'm just flowing today, y'all, and I love it. I pray that this message was clarification for you. Those of you who are struggling with moving into the things of God, with moving forward, with knowing who you are in identity to Christ, you got to see him. You got to see him. This is um, the same as with Jacob at Peniel. When he saw the Lord, he finally saw him. And that's why he named the place Peniel, okay, the place where he saw God. This is 
uh, somewhere in Genesis. I'll look it up really quickly. But God is just saying that he needs you to see him. Okay? He needs you to see him for who he is and not what he can do. For, for everything that you, you're requiring and, and that you need that you're trying to look for on the outside and dress up on the outside, he's saying, you got to see me for everything, for love, for grace, for mercy, uh, long-suffering, patience, self-control, like all of that stuff you find in Christ. You cannot find that outside of yourself. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So I'm looking for the scripture. If I don't find it, somebody put it in the comments. Um... I want to say it's in Genesis somewhere, but you can definitely, yes, Genesis 32. Yes, so you can read about that with Jacob. And this is where God changed his name from Jacob to Israel, okay? Uh, from Jacob to Israel. So this is your fight with the old you and the new you. This is the, the pull, the tug of war, okay? Jacob means to, to follow or to be behind, okay? And Israel means people chosen by God, people chosen by God. So God is saying, you are my chosen one because you have answered the call. So no more fighting, no more striving, come out of the world and come into my marvelous light. So I love you guys. I love you guys with the love of Christ. I pray this has been a blessing to you. Go ahead and move forward as God is showing you to move forward. Quit striving with people. Quit arguing with people and stop striving with yourself, most importantly, okay? And with God. All right, you guys, I will see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Again, I love you all with the love of Christ. Most importantly, Jesus loves you.